again and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing, yes, another mango haul. You may be tired of it, I don't know, but I really, really love the items that Mango is coming out with. Especially us living here in the South in Texas, we don't get super frigid winters or even falls for that matter. I mean, it's gonna be a high of 80 today. I really love Mango for their knits. I love their coat agains, which is kind of something that we would wear during the winter. We wouldn't be wearing like head to toe big puffers or anything like that. I mean, maybe one day out of the year, but it's not something that we wear a ton down here. So that is the reason I wanted to share this mango haul with you. The difference with this mango haul is these are items that are a little bit more capsule wardrobe friendly. So they're items that you're gonna be able to wear year round. A lot of layering pieces like this top that I'm actually wearing today. If you wanna see what I got, then just keep on watching. I also linked all the items that I'm gonna be sharing with you today down below. Again, I do get a small commission anytime that you use those links to make a purchase. So I'd really appreciate it. I guess I'll start with the item that I'm actually wearing. It's this top right here. I really, really fell in love with this top, especially for a layering piece. It's a little bit of more of a neutral nude color, has a very slight ribbing. I love the neckline, it's kind of like a boat neck, fitted. The sleeves are really good, obviously I pushed them up because I have bracelets on, but they do cover my whole arm, which I love. I hate it whenever I buy long sleeve shirts and they fit like this. So this one actually covers my whole arm, but so y'all can see my pretty bracelets, I'm gonna just rouge them up like that. I really love this top. You're going to be able to wear it numerous ways, layer it under sweaters when it gets a little bit cooler. But the one thing I do want to pinpoint is now some of you may not have this issue, but I do. So depending on the type of bra that you wear with these tops, because they are very clingy to the body, the type of bra that you wear is very, very crucial. Um, I did not know that you could see that. It looks like I can. Can you see that? I guess you can. Okay, I have another bra that I'd probably wear instead of this, but my, my main issue is the back rolls. So as you can see, there are none here, and that is because of the bra. Because trust me, when I wear a traditional underwired bra, then I will have the bulging here in the back. So the type of bra that you wear with these types of tops definitely make a difference. I'm going to link two that I'm actually, the one I'm wearing now and the other one that is like my go-to t-shirt bra. I'm gonna link them down below for you. Um, trust me, they make a world of a difference. Their top that I got that is very similar to this one is this top right here. It's just a little bit more of a luxe feel. This is more of a cottony, I think it's viscose. Um, blend actually. This one is made of recycled polyester. So if you know what polyester feels like, it's a little bit more of a stretchy feel, um, a little bit more silky. It does have the ribbing, if you can see. There is ribbing throughout, but it almost has like this very, very faint shimmer, which I think it just kind of elevates the top. It has the similar boat neck as well. The only thing with this top is I felt that it was a little bit too short. So it's not a crop top, but like this one, I can actually tuck in to my jeans and it's fine. This one, I feel like if I tuck them in and I was to raise my hand, that they it would basically untuck. So just depending on what type of tops you're looking for. Now, if you're gonna be wearing like really high-waisted pants or jeans, it'd be a really, really great top to get, but I just felt like it was just very different, but still luxe and sophisticated and just another item that you can definitely layer under anything, really. Okay, we're well, speaking of um, high-waisted pants. Um, I have these black palazzo pants. So I shared the white version on my last mango haul. If you wanna check it out, it's gonna be right here. Um, so this is actually the black version. So it has the same fit. It's, you know, wide leg. It's a little bit more flowy. So there is a lot of movement, which that's what I love about these pants. The white ones I really did like, but they almost bordered on like a linen pair of pants, which linen is more of a material that you would wear in the summer. So with the white Palazzo pants, I still think you can get away with wearing them for winter whites, most definitely. I needed an upgrade on my black pants, so I wanted to get these. Trousers are so hot this season. Abercrombie has these like 
viral trousers that everyone is buying. I have not tried them, so I cannot say whether they're a good buy or not, but if you're looking for just a nice pant that you can dress up or dress down, then this one is really nice. I love it because if you're a little bit bottom heavy like I am, they fit really nice on the bottom and then they just cascade down your leg. And again, the movement is what I really love about these pants. Okay, next up I have these jeans. I actually meant to share these jeans with you on my last haul, but I forgot. So I'm sharing them with you today. These are the Matilda jeans. Uh, these are a size eight. Now I border on size 27, 28 in US sizes. So I grabbed the eight and I think it fits really, really well. It's fitted, you know, but not too tight on the top. And then it's a straight leg. So it just kind of just drops from your knee down. I wish it was a little bit cropped, but I am going to probably hem them myself and just give it a raw hem. But I really was in the market for this type of medium blue color. And I just think it's a really nice jean, especially for like casual Fridays. So if you're able to wear jeans to work, this would be a good pair. I know when I was working in the office, you couldn't have any frays, you couldn't have any holes or anything like that. So just a nice classic pair of blue jeans. The, these are them and they're just, you know, a good, good buy. Not very rigid either. There is not a stretch, but they're a very soft denim. Okay, next up I have this top right here. This is just a classic button down, but the material is what makes it just a little bit different. I also love these sleeves. They have a split here at the ends of the sleeves. There's collar you can button down. It is a little bit sheer. So just depending on how comfortable you are, you could definitely wear a new bra underneath, I feel like, and I, you wouldn't be able to see anything because it's not that sheer. It's just a tiny bit sheer, if <laughs> that makes any sense. But this is very, very like fresh type of shirt. So I feel like right now, especially with this transitional weather where it's like, 50 degrees in the morning and then it's like 80 degrees in the afternoon. This would be a great top. Just throw on a blazer on top in the mornings on your way out the door and then take them off and you can just wear it as is on the way home. Okay, next up I have this belt from Mango. I absolutely like it definitely caught my eye when I saw it online. It is a little bit of a Western inspired. Uh, right now, Western wear, Western boots, all that stuff is really hot. I kind of feel like we're at the latter end of that trend, but I feel like this belt, you can definitely still wear it for years to come. It just is a very nice statement piece. I don't have anything that had the silver. I tend to wear more gold accents, so I definitely wanted to get a little bit of silver, and I just felt like this belt just looked really nice. Let me see if I can, I don't know how that works, but you, can, you get the gist of it. I think there is also a gold version. So if you are more into the gold accents, then maybe you can check that one out. Okay, next I have two trench coats that I was kind of wanting to see how they felt. I see the trench coats a lot in the Mango website. So I got two to compare um, and these are them. Uh, trench coats are definitely gonna be a capsule wardrobe staple. So if you don't already have a trench coat, I really feel like one is enough unless you wanna get different colors. I've seen black trench coats that really caught my eye. I have a beige trench coat already, but for the sake of this video, I did wanna compare the two. So this is the first one that I got. It's a size medium, definitely a little bit more of a rigid material. So I think it's gonna really, really hold up, especially if you live in harsher weather. Now it does have these type of like tortoise, I don't know, is that what you would call these? These tortoise like type of buttons? I'm not sure, let's see if it's focusing. Um, but they do go all the way, basically all the way down the trench coat. I also really like this detail right here where you can clasp the, um, the collar. So I guess if it is really, really cold where you live, then maybe you get a use out of that. I'm not sure. The belt down here, it's like a, a actual belt. I'm not too, too excited about this buckle. I feel like it kind of cheapens the look for some reason. They also have it here on the sleeves as well but I do love the detail of the sleeve. I just wish they would have used a different buckle, but this is a, just a very classic trench. The other one that I have right here is a little bit lighter than that one. This is actually a small and it fits very, very comfortable to the medium. Now this one is a little bit longer. So the first one I shared actually hits me right at the knee or a little bit below the knee. 
This one goes below the knee. So if you're looking for a longer, longer trench, then this would be a great buy. There's only what two sets of buttons up front so they don't go all the way down but there is a tie belt so this is does not have the buckle it's just more of a tie belt that you can fasten like that i really like this color as opposed to the other one even though they're most people would look my husband would look at it and be like they're both beige but they're different types of beige this one's a little, pulls a little bit more cool that one pulls a little bit more warm and i feel like this one it just like, I don't know, I just prefer this color myself. Great, great item to have in your wardrobe. If you're looking for one, definitely check out the Mango website because they have a ton of trench coats for you to look at. Well, that's all I have for you today. Just a few pieces. Now, obviously I still have some pieces here on the rack. Those I have shared on my previous Mango haul. So I'm gonna link it here for you. If you wanna go check that one out. If you enjoyed this mango haul, then just give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Would love it if you considered subscribing to my channel. I hope y'all have a great day and we'll chat soon. Bye.